Welcome to another video tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to do phylogenetic analysis of protein or your desired genes. In the previous video, we have already downloaded uh, these sequences. If you don't know how to download these sequences, you may watch uh, the previous video of this series. So in the previous video, we have downloaded these files from NCBI. So uh, let, let us start with these files and do uh, phylogenetic analysis. So here I have downloaded these two files. We can see that uh, the extension of this file is faster. So the simple way is that we can see that this file ends with .fas or .fasta. Both, both are okay. So if in your computer it is not showing, you can simply go to view and you can just tick this option that is file name extension. Let's suppose if we uncheck, uh, we we will see that uh, now the file extension name is missing. So we can just simply uh, change its file name extension. So here we have two files. Now let's start and go to software mega and open this. So if you need to uh, just change like uh, from text to faster and faster to text, you can just simply uh, go to rename and you can just move like maybe in your it is like text okay so you you can it will ask to just to change so if you want to change again you can simply rename again and you can just write fas it would be in faster format okay so now let's move to software uh, here we have our software uh, this is called mega six so we need to open this yeah this is the display of mega software so how we will begin we will begin our analysis with the fasta file that we have already downloaded uh, for our proteins or genes so now we will go to file or we can also go to align so both it is up to us what we choose so we can go to align so we can use this option and this option as well so we will go edit or build alignment we can go here so uh, from this we can select an option that is create a new alignment just click ok so that it will ask what you are doing either for dna or protein because now we are dealing with protein so we will click on protein so uh, here is the display we can see that now uh, it will ask that you can insert your uh, sequence one so we can just go to edit and we can select here the insert sequence from file so we will just click uh, I will go to that folder that I have placed on desktop and in this folder uh, let's suppose all these genes and here we can see that this is all these sequences which we need to do our phylogenetic analysis so uh, what we need to do uh, first we are going to align these uh, align these all protein sequences so we can go to this alignment alignment is of two types uh, most of these uh, the research articles uh, we will be seeing that uh, align by cluster wx is mostly used in most of the studies but i personally prefer align by muscle so it is up to us what we use so in this video we will use align by muscle we will just click on this uh, it is saying that uh, nothing selected from alignment select all yeah if we will click all it will just uh, select all the sequences or you can just use simply shift key to select one by one so we will click on ok we need to wait until it finish yeah the selection for sequence named as sequence file one was removed yeah we can see that this sequence is automatically removed it's okay or we can just simply click on this and we can delete on uh, this one we will go again to alignment by muscle or we can simply click on this align protein yeah select all and select okay we don't need to change these 
uh, this parameter they are already set to their default now we need to wait yeah uh, now it is aligned we can see that uh, those uh, amino acid sequences are the same which are mentioned in the same color so if you are not satisfied with this you can just simply uh, go and choose alignment by cluster although i personally prefer uh, by muscle alignment you can also use this it should be pairwise pairwise alignment yeah now it is pairwise aligned we can say that uh, here where the all sequences like these these two odd sequences we can just uh, hold the shift key and let's suppose if we want to delete this just simple uh, press delete and uh, while holding shift key this and this let's suppose these uh, sequences are not of our interest so we will do again and do alignment so now we can see that those two proteins which uh, all the proteins which were not showing similarities we have deleted we can still see that there are two which are not showing the similarity we can delete yeah now we can see that uh, there are some stars are visible this uh, this star mean this amino acid is same throughout all the sequences so we can do again yeah here we can see that these amino acids are showing the stars it means it is the same okay so now we will save this sequence as mega file before doing far file of genetic analysis up till now we have done alignment so now we will export this file as yeah we can save the we can export this alignment as mega format so we will choose our folder youtube video let's suppose uh, task one we can select on this one task one you can just enter the rename okay now it's it has been saved so you can just finish this uh, now uh, we need to go to uh, for doing phylogenetic analysis now uh, we will choose phylogeny not we now we will not go to align option now we will go simply to align option and uh, we can choose which one is mostly used so uh, recently most of the studies used uh, neighbor joining tree method so we can click on this you can go to that location where you have saved our file so we can see that here that file we have just uh, saved now is visible as task one so if it is not showing now you can change from all files if you will select all files we can see that all files are uh, showing but now we have just uh, using task one we can open this and it will ask some p default option we don't need to change because just it is using bootstrap method and number of bootstrap replication is 1000 in most of studies uh, these parameters are used so uh, we will just gaps missing pairwise deletion we can choose uh, complete deletion or it is up to us or it is up to the requirement of study so i personally prefer pairwise deletion we can click on ok so here it is our phylogenetic tree so uh, we can see that now uh, there are two main clades uh, these two are main clades and these are called further subclades or clans they, these are also called clans like clades subclades are clans and subclans 
So now we have often seen that uh, in some studies it is mentioned as a round figure. So we can simply go to this and we can click on the circle. So it will change into circle. Now we can see that this is change into circle. So if we want to choose some other options like this, we can choose. We can go again, we can choose rectangle, uh, we can go traditional and we can choose straight one. It is up to us what we want to choose. We can also use this curved one, but I personally prefer the circle or yeah, this is the circle which is showing distance as well and the name. And if we move to next, uh, we can also choose rectangle. So uh, we can also change these name and text and the color of these figures. We can go to view and we can change like here. We can change is the text on name, branch information, scale bar. These bars can also be changed. Uh, and we can also change some other structures and we can zoom, zoom in and zoom out. It is up to us. But uh, I personally use uh, one online website that I will make another uh, video tutorial about that website that is much beautiful and uh, that is much easier and handy to use and we can give more colors and we have more access uh, for its manipulation. So, so far, uh, if we want to save this uh, file uh, for our research paper or as a figure, so we can simply go to image and we can um, just save as BMP file, PATF file, or TIF, TIF file. So I personally prefer TIF file or PDF. So if we want to save as TIF file, so it is just asking what would be the name. We can save it as task one. Oh, I did not write the name. Task one two let's suppose make it save yeah now it would be saved as task one two so now we can go back and uh, we can see either it is saved or not yeah we can see that this is saved we can just zoom in and we can see that in the next video we will learn uh, how we can just use some different colors and some other photographs and uh, make it uh, more beautiful for publication purpose like I have done here I can show you some figures and uh, yeah uh, these are which I have already done you can just choose in the next video we will be choosing and learning how we can make these beautiful graphs by using that website 